Responsible maintenance of a coffee machine is very important, more particularly for safety and hygiene. In this video, I will show you how to clean and check our Veromatic machine for optimum usage. In most cases, a message will appear or pop up on screen if the machine encounters an error. Error message can be accompanied by advice about how to resolve the errors in question. Pressing the exclamation mark button will show you the active error messages, pressing again and it will take you back to main menu. If we don't perform daily cleaning, we will encounter some error and machine will not dispense drinks. A good example of these is when the drip tray cleaning by opening the door of the machine to activate the rinse menu. Inspect the container spouts and mixing bowl for stuck products. If so, remove and clean them. Replace dry. Make sure they are fixed properly to avoid leakage. Carefully remove the drip tray from the machine, do not place it in dishwasher to avoid damaging the finish. Empty the drip tray and clean it with lukewarm water using brush. Remove and empty the waste bin and spill container, throw the waste properly and then clean it before putting back inside the machine. Regularly clean the exterior part of the machine more particularly the screen and dispense area use a clean and slightly damp cloth. Close and lock the door. After closing, the rinse menu will show on the screen. Place container underneath the outlet or dispense area. Then select rinse all mixers. Close the door and press the back option in the screen to leave the rinse menu and to resume normal operation. Perform all actions from daily maintenance. Remove the hot water and coffee cup tray, fold the hot water tray and pull it towards you. To remove coffee cup tray, slide it to the right and push up. Clean them with hot water and dry, then put back to their proper installation. Turn off the machine. Open the door. Detach the spout from the arm or pipe support. Disconnect the hoses from the outlet parts. Clean these parts with warm water. Remove the spout arm from the cabinet. Depress the latch and slide up. Take the brewer out of the machine by the handle. Rinse the brewer under the tap with a brush. Replace the dried brewer in the machine and press it firmly. Return the spout arm back onto the cabinet. Reconnect the hoses to the spout and spout arm. Make sure the four rubber nozzles are properly protruding through the outlet arm. To clean the instant mixers or mixing bowl open the top cover of the machine. Turn the canister spouts up and remove the canister one by one. Detach the spout tubes from the mixers. Turn the mixer ring counterclockwise to the unlock position. Pull the mixer house and the suction ring forward so they detach from the mixer plate. Separate the suction ring from the mixing bowl. Remove the mixer paddle from the mixer axis or shaft. Clean all parts in a bucket with hot water, brush them, clean and dry. Remove the suction tray from the machine. Clean the tray and replace filter if necessary. Clean the interior of the machine with a slightly damp cloth. Replace all parts in reverse order. Once all parts are cleaned and returned to their position, do the cleaning cycle. Turn the machine on. Place the container under the coffee spout. In the rinse menu, start the espresso brewer cleaning cycle and follow the on-screen instructions. When you are two-thirds of the way through the cleaning cycle, you will hear a beep and see a prompt to insert a cleaning tablet. Open the door and throw the cleaning tablet into the top of the espresso brewer. Close the door and follow the instructions on the screen. The cleaning cycle takes a few minutes. Empty the container once the cleaning cycle has ended. Empty the waste bucket and drip tray. Take a beverage featuring ground beans to test whether you have correctly replaced the espresso brewer. To ensure effective operation, we recommend only filling the machine with beans that have been prescribed by your operator. To refill coffee beans, unlock and remove the lid, then fill with coffee beans. Replace the lid and lock it. To refill instant canisters, open the top cover. 
Turn the spouts of the instant product canisters upward and remove the product canister from the machine. Fill the canisters to maximum three quarters of the capacity. Replace the canisters in the machine and turn the spout downward. Close the machine, slide up the canister stock indicator on the screen and perform rinse all mixers. Press the back button to resume normal operations.